tonight on Reporting Scotland. Scottish haemophiliacs say the UK-wide inquiry into contaminated blood has come too late. Good evening. Groups representing haemophiliacs in Scotland say a UK-wide inquiry into a contaminated blood scandal has come too late. Thousands of people were given blood products infected with hepatitis C and HIV during the 1960s and 70s, and many died as a result. Scotland had its own investigation, which took six years to report, but it was heavily criticised as a whitewash. Katrina Renton reports. This is what some campaigners thought of Scotland's inquiry into contaminated blood supplies. It was headed by Lord Penrose, took six years, cost £12 million, and the report was 1,800 pages long. But its conclusions, or lack of them, caused anger and frustration. I would ask you please to stay in your seats and hear what we have to say. Bill Wright was infected by a blood product in 1986. He spoke up. When we read this, we were raging too. Today, a UK-wide inquiry has been announced. Having been through the Penrose inquiry, what does he think of that? Well, really somewhat deflated, frankly. Um, it's something that I think many years ago we'd hoped for, maybe 20 years ago in terms of a UK-wide inquiry. But of course in Scotland we've since had the Penrose inquiry, living through six years of very distressing and very disturbing evidence and it's, it's a highly challenging experience to go through a public inquiry. It's thought around 30,000 people in the UK were infected with hepatitis C and HIV through blood transfusions and blood products in the 1970s and 80s. Some of the supplies were imported, including from prisoners in the United States, some of them drug users, who sold their blood. The Penrose inquiry found at least 3,000 people were infected in Scotland alone and everyone who had a blood transfusion before 1991 should be tested. A spokesperson for the Scottish Government said while they welcome the UK move, they are surprised the new inquiry is expected to extend to Scotland, as the UK Government did not seek to discuss this with them in advance of their announcement. The Scottish Government is providing financial support for eligible victims, something campaigners want to see available across the whole of the UK now. Clearly, rather than wait for a public inquiry to report throughout England, Wales and Northern Ireland, that sort of packaging, such as exists already in Scotland, needs to be put in place for those people across the UK to benefit and follow the Scottish lead. The terms of the UK inquiry are yet to be set out, with many campaigners here in Scotland wondering what it will achieve. Katrina Renton, Reporting Scotland.